Hello everybody, welcome back to Walk With Me Gaming. We are back on Kentucky Road Zero. We are going to finish up Act 4 today, so um, then we can wrap that up. And uh, yeah, I've got I've got time in between some work stuff, so I'm like, let's, let's get this done. Let's get this knocked out. Um, so we're gonna finish Act 3. I have no idea what's coming. Uh, I, we, we shall see. Um, kind of left off with, um, our one guy disappeared with the skeletons, and, uh, so we don't know what's up with him, or what's up in general. What is that? Oh, hey, Blue. Yeah, you gotta check those. Oh. Okay. Let's, let's go see what we got up here at the top. What is that? What is that? It's like a... Some kind of... Whoa. Oh, it gets stopped. <laughs> uh, okay. We got, like, is this a diner on top of an old oil rig, basically? That's actually a super cool idea. I would kind of love that. Is that a zombie? What in the world? Oh, all right, sure. Um, a local celebrity. Um, uh, hey, as, uh, okay, sure. Um, yeah, I don't know where the old man went. Oh, no. <laughs> the gray skin, he made me think it was like a zombie, but it's, it's not that gray. Uh, <laughs> uh. I have one quarter. They they took him. Yeah. Yeah, you could say that a situation uh, being kidnapped by skeletons kind of a situation. Um, yeah. <laughs> one more shot. Oh, I hope he wins the prize. Uh, a plastic bag full of clamshells. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this guy knows what he's talking about with claw machines. I have I have only won one time on a on a good claw machine, um, and that was like I got a stuffed frog, and I had that frog forever. Um, hmm, let's see. Yeah, let's, uh, oh, screw it. Let's go for the octopus. <clears throat> These guys are, this guy is, like, just super prepared. Just, like, we are gonna conquer this claw machine. Come on, octopus. <laughs> um. Go bit right. Hmm. Yeah, tell me what to do. Push it back further. Oh, man. Okay, uh, I guess I'll be up. Yeah. Okay. Got. It. All right, we're going to do it. Fingers crossed. We want, <laughs> we want this, this octopus. Drop the claw. Fingers crossed. Come on, octopus. It's got it. Oh, dang. No octopus. Oh well. Hmm. Is he coming back? That would be. A question a kid would ask. You keep using these words. I don't think you know what they actually mean. I think you're just trying to sound smart. <laughs> hmm. Mm hmm. Go. Julian. Wait, are we underground? Yeah, I guess we were. I guess, I guess so. Um. 
yeah, probably meet up with Julian. <laughs> yeah. I mean, brother, yeah, kind of. More like a giant eagle, but, uh, you know, whatever works. <laughs> not, a, not a zombie, just a robot. <laughs> this tentacle looking thing is half eaten. <laughs> yes, dare you to take a bite. Do it. <laughs> uh yeah. Don't don't touch it. Mm, yeah, you know, you, you do what you gotta do, kid. Uh, they're gone. There's nothing to worry about. I just missed them. That's not how... I don't know. Maybe that is that is how... That is how Ezra would think. He seems very blunt with things. Um, I don't know. I mean, it's reasonable to miss them. It's, they're your parents, after all. Uh... Uh, wait, so I guess, I guess we have to make the delivery. Sure. Um, yeah, we got this. We'll take care of it. Don't worry about it. We're going to help them. Uh, what's, wait, what's Johnny doing? Uh, hello. Sweet cave snail. <laughs> Well, I bet they come up with some interesting, uh, <laughs> interesting foods down here. Uh, let's see. Ooh. Whoa. Everything grows more slowly in the, yeah. Wow. <laughs> you only get, yeah, well, I mean, <laughs> it's like, it's like sturgeon when they harvest, uh, the, the eggs. Like, they have them for a while, but they, they wait till they're significantly older before they actually get them. So... Um, hmm. something primordial. So, uh, yeah, deep in the lake. That sounds. <laughs> hmm. Poached squid, beef and squid gumbo, cedar plank cave fish with herb red pepper crust and butter sauce. I would absolutely eat that. <laughs> Sure, I would definitely try the cave fish. <laughs> uh, well, oh gosh. <laughs> Interesting choices, but all right. Diver's table. This was the diver's meal. Okay. <laughs> oh. Oh yeah, that's disappointing. Well, that's good. You guys can make your own stuff now. Chef G Chef Ramsay would be proud. <laughs> hmm. Interesting. <laughs> Oh, I left my beer upstairs. Dang it, I should have brought that down with me. <laughs> the whole menu. Keep making up dishes, whatever. Just keep bringing out food. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Why not? <laughs> oh, well. So, so thought we could take photo. <laughs> Shellacked the whole table. <laughs> Sure, that's a hmm, that's an interesting choice. Of course, they didn't pay their full bill. Half and let them charge the other half to whatever demon in the kitchen kept making us food faster than we could ask for. Yeah, you know what, whatever. If he had nothing else to do, like, why not? All right, bring me something tasty. Why are we why are we dropping back down? Is your is your husband in there? Has he been fishing? Is that what it is? Uh yeah. We found something. 
Is that all you got? It's an eel. <laughs> the one and only. Some kind of eel, I guess. Hmm. Uh, the grit eel I don't think would sell. Rich gray eel. <laughs> hmm. That's an impressive catch you got there. <laughs> well, what are we talking about? A bunch of divers still focused on that. I'm actually interested in these guys. <laughs> I'm trying, I gotta remember to talk, but this is a interesting story of this place. Um, you gotta find the right ingredients. Better ingredient, oh, cats. Here, cat. Louie. I think we need to call the vet for our cat. <sighs> oh well. What do we got? What? Deer. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's reasonable. Man, I love the design of this. This is so cool. Like, if I came across a place like this in real life, I would absolutely want to go there. Because it just is so interesting. Who wants to eat the eel? <laughs> Gotta keep get your exercise when you're climbing that many stairs every day. Slow, slow process. <laughs> oh, hey customers, would any of y'all like to try some eel? <laughs> Freshwater barnacles. <laughs> oh, that's fair. Yeah, you got rich gray eel. <laughs> Mopey, sandpapery, old eel. Yeah, sure, why not? Uh, mouth. Oh, boy, more rum. Uh, yeah, no, that, that's fine. Thanks. <laughs> we got our stuff to go. Thank you. Oh, a nice little, another music cue. What do we got here? Who's playing? Are they up in the, up in the dock, the, the upper there, or hanging out down here? I love this music. It's great. This world is not my just this is nice. through I love their music. My treasures and my nice. hope. Yeah, definitely come down here. Let's see what's going place on. Beyond the blue. Oh, this music. This is so great. I'm not sure if these songs are like made by an actual group or if it's just the composer and like some other people, but whoever did this is fantastic. Oh, this is so nice. <laughs> Louie, how are you feeling, buddy? I heard ya. Yeah, listen to the room. Alright. <laughs> Sorry, I, <laughs> I'm not talking, but the music's just so nice. I just wanted to listen a little longer. Uh, all right. Onward we go. Away from the diving bell. That's the word. Couldn't think of it. It's a diving bell. Uh, man, how much farther do we have on this river? Yeah, sure does. <laughs> That's what it is. Yeah, I mean, that's that's what, like, it does in the ocean, too. It just... Old canoe rental shop. Destined chair. Yeah. To Destined chairs. 
But did a school fall into the ocean? Gemini School of Beauty. Um, interesting. Sure, sure. Um, <sighs> wait, got they had to shut down burning lots of coal from blow dryers and hair curlers. I yeah, I mean, I guess that would take up a lot of energy, but you know, <laughs> that's that's the price to pay for beauty. Lol. Okay. Uh, <laughs> we got a little docked shanty town right here. This is kind of cool. Let's see what we got here. A whole bunch of little houses, buildings. Hmm. Uh, yeah, let's see what we got here. I don't know what we picked. Are we going on? Are we going on land again, or on the docks? Not really land. If it's still floating, <laughs> a neighborhood. It sure is. Very descriptive. Oh, let's see what we get. Oh, I remember this from the uh, from the the preview ad. Oh, all right. So interesting. We got solo theremin performance. <laughs> Wouldn't have expected to see that. Ezra, you should not be sitting that close. You're going to throw off her tuning. What an interesting concept. Yes, yes, we just happen to be a, a mammoth toting uh, ship that, that plays theremin music. You... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there you go. Just droned out on the left. <laughs> is she done? Or is she waiting for us to finish talking? <laughs> the li the little cops are great. Oh man. It like it's like a real small show. Tape player? What? What is is he playing like the cassette tape recordings? Um Yeah, I mean, we're all kinda lost souls in this game. We were in the back. Just watching Cyrano. <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> Watch his eyebrows when he plays. Interesting. Okay. Uh. We just. Okay. Sure, he's just a kid, but he's already a person. Interesting. Uh. Are you guys thinking of taking Ezra? Um, hmm. I don't know what's going on here. Plants. Hmm. Uh, yeah, let's find out what's behind the grimy door. Force the door. Uh, sure, forced it. <laughs> yeah? Well, let's see. <laughs> Wait, pet shop? What are you guys doing at the pet shop? Do you have a pet? Is it that cat you stole? <laughs> the only cut, yeah. Control the drum machine, sing and, yeah, that would be kind of, that would be kind of very difficult. Uh, hmm. What is, I'm not, I'm not sure what's going on here. Um, Deep breath. Okay. Glut. Ah, oh, I see. With her, with her theremin. So we're. I guess we're remembering the experience of seeing her perform before. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I mean, theremins can be pretty powerful if you're messing with it. <laughs> Mm. 
and you glue it to the back of the key chart. Oh, that would be a good idea. Yeah, that would make sense. <laughs> Full of possibilities. I can't tell what they are, Junebug and Johnny. It's really hard to tell. <laughs> well, I'm glad she didn't destroy the room with her theremin powers. That was an interesting... <laughs> something. I don't know. I don't know what just happened, but it was interesting. Just... <sighs> Musicians reminiscing about things. Yes, significant. <clears throat> Shot. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, better to have a candid photo. It's more realistic. Is that a silo? I think it's massive. Oh, they're dropping us off. Is this the end of our boat ride? Does the silo lead back up to the surface? Is that what? Is that what's going on? I don't know. I don't know. We're gonna see. I'm gonna be a little silo of late reflections. Jeez, what is this? A Legend of Zelda game? <laughs> it doesn't really sound like a Legend of Zelda thing. Uh, is that our truck? Were they, did they transport our truck too? How did it get here? Uh, yeah, we're, we're t still trying to figure that out. The manifest, the old man had in the truck here. No return address, shipping address, five dogwood drive, packing list, and then it's just numbers. Yep. Suppose so. Yeah. Oh, Claire is coming with us. So oh, that's cool. Well, that's that's fun, I suppose. Um, I could. Yeah, you could. You got a truck now. Might as well. Yeah, that's a <laughs> good question. Uh, with a rope to pull a truck? Uh, I don't think so. Uh, bless you. <laughs> I heard my wife sneeze upstairs. You guys probably couldn't hear that. <laughs> Natural reaction. <laughs> um, it, uh, hmm. Just, uh, hmm, let's see. Well, yeah, as long as you take the keys with you. I suppose so. Old junk, but people will pay for it. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much the definition of an antique. We actually have, you know, I didn't even think to mention this. We actually have a friend who does uh, antique sales as a, as like a, I don't know if it's like a full-time thing that they do or if it's just part-time, but like, you know, imagine like just going to like junk, junk shops and garage sales and all kinds of stuff and you just find classic pieces and, uh, and, just try to sell them for for profit you know and sometimes you find some impressive things antiques are a weird a weird weird field to be in I'm curious let's see what happens now uh, i'm sad we have to leave the truck just got uh, I, I mean i assume if clara stopped there there's no other option so truck staying down there i guess Oh, oh, there we go. Okay. Um, wow, that was a little shorter than I thought it would be. Well, okay. Well, I guess we're just doing the same thing we did last time where we've got two longer episodes and one short episode. So um, next next time we will begin. Uh, we'll do the the beginning of the end. Um, I think for I think the fifth act is supposed to be like an hour and a half, so we'll probably do two. Uh, two two weeks worth of videos and um, and then that'll be it because um, like I said I, I don't think I'll do uh, the the in-betweens just because they're a little 
different and in-depth kind of thing that doesn't quite fit with this. So I'll leave that to you guys to play yourself if you feel it. So I uh, hope you like that. Uh, that's the end of Act 4, and um, I'll see you guys next week. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and tell me what you think. And after this, uh, who knows? But I'll see you next time. Bye.